we are live. Marvellous. Welcome to my YouTube live with the gorgeous, I can't believe I've got these two screen signs. I'm going to tell you, I was doing Captain Seas Jones makeup the other day and you two are just divine. Oh, ah, stop it. Hi. Actually, it's Hollywood <laughs> beauties from the 40s, 50s. Anyway, we are here, the Pixie Woo sisters. I've never done Santa no. makeup, which is so exciting to have her in, the, in, in my chair. Um, and also, so we're here to show you all of our part, well, all of our, a couple of party looks. One of them is just going to be a, the smoky eye look, and one is just going to be the red, uh, the red lip. Um, and they're two fabulous bundles that you can buy here today, and we're going to show you how to get them. And we're also going to be feeding any of your questions, any kind of answers, to stories behind products, just having fun and a good old chat about everything beauty in our lives. So. I'm so excited to be all here tuning in with us. So let's begin. Absolutely. <laughs> anything you want to know, anything yes. you want to know at all, now is the time to ask Charlotte, because we have her. I love how you've done your under eye. The, it drags on. And I remember when you did my makeup last time, yes. I was staring at it. It I, looks so lovely. Because it's a bit softer on me because I'm so pale. And with the, with, the, with the red hair, it kind of just makes it look a little bit softer. It does look lovely. Rock, rock and coal is a little bit kind of hard. What is the eyeshadow as well? A little bit of my instant eye palette on. It looks so lovely. Does it, my instant eye palette is a little bit. It really, mixed. really Thank looks so, darling. Same colour as your hair. It looks lovely. Thank Sorry. you. I need I, all I, the I help I can get I haven't slept. I don't agree. It's about a month. But anyway, here we are. So, okay, darlings. Right, okay. So I want to... Do the um, so I just I, looking at you and thinking about you, and I was like, actually, just loads of people. I just did Captain Stacey Jones's makeup a couple of days ago, and everyone was going, Oh my god, I really, how did you, what did you do that? You know, how did you get that look? Or not, she how looks did you do Oh, so, so tonight, Matthew, so I am going to be <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones. Jones. <laughs> I love um, it. No, but exactly. But I was looking at you in the kind of similar colouring and gorgeous, and I and I just thought, actually, you know, everyone's been asking me how do I get that look. So I just thought we're going to show you how to get something quick, simple, and easy, um, and how to kind of do a quick and easy smoky eye because we're always we're always in a rush, right? So I always say, you know, death to dance floor because we've. I mean, you know, the party season is coming up. Um, I'm already feeling a little bit, I was at a Vogue party last night, so I'm feeling a little bit exhausted today. Um, and, um, but yeah, so exactly, how do you, and I literally had to run from the office, kind of, you know, in the back of a cab, quick makeup, so that's what we're going to do. Right, Lovely. marvellous. So, you've got, already got on, um, you've the fabulous, right, so we've gone on the little magic cream, so we put that on. I can't do a makeup without magic cream. Um, it sits beautifully over it, doesn't it? It it's just nice it, it it is literally what, for me the reason we came up with it is because when I was working with all those celebrities it was like uh, that you know they're all exhausted because they're on planes or planes crazy schedules all the rest of it. I mean now the whole world is this exhausted. was your first product right that was my Ever. first product yeah. but you know I mean if you think about it sort of you know whatever how many kind of I know now how old is magic cream on it it's probably like sort of fifteen years or more wow. it's like you know oh but you know and it, but literally it was like or, and it's slightly kind of moved on from the with the labs but. You know, it's it, it was one of those things where you just you can put it on and it like transform your skin in sort of twenty eight seconds where you're kind of you know and uh, it's sort of even models like that, and that it became known as it was anyway they named it magic cream I didn't and it was sort of one of those oh, things fantastic that kind of, what a great name as well I know and thank God thank God those brilliant celebrities yeah. and supermodels that came up with that genius name so brilliant <laughs> and then magic. from it was spawned an entire brand <laughs> 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 right okay so I'm going to start off with my color chameleon in black diamonds and this is really fantastic because this is sort of I always say my sort of well almost my three-year-old son my eight-year-old son could do this because it's so simple so this is for women who don't know how to do makeup and um close your eyes darling and i'm just gonna literally take this and scribble it on so that there is no technique needed now you've also got the feline flick on which is fab as i've done earlier and you can either get a finger nice and simple like that right and just blend that in Super, super, super easy, and I do love this product. It's so fantastic. These these kind of um, chubby pencils have revolutionised eyeshadow. Don't you think? I think. Yeah, because it's so easy. I mean, darling. I mean, look at that. I mean, I, I literally. I mean, I mean, I could have been my three year old son putting that on. I mean, I might as well have been. No technique. No technique. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's so great, and you do have the most fabulous eyelids. Um, God, this is such... Is it, haven't they revolutionised everything? So it just, just makes it so fast, so simple, and it's so modern looking. It is. It's really fresh looking. And what's so fabulous about the, this formula is that it does not budge. So yeah. you put it on, and it goes, and then it sets. So there's a playtime with it. Look, I'm just going to use my finger just to prove that this is the real back of a cab, no time. I want to do a smoky eye. And literally just blending in, don't even need a brush. Although I am going to use one of your fabulous brushes when I hit the bottom, bottom bit of the eye, because I think then we need a little bit of precision. 
you think that sometimes using the oils from your fingers helps it move as well a little yes, bit? Yes, it does, exactly. I do think that with cream eyeshadow, sometimes exactly the oils in your fingers are kind of just help it. And also just the kind of prime to just getting yeah. on really kind of. So when you're doing your red carpet makeup, yes, what's your key prep products? So key prep, card, magic cream, number one. Yeah. And then I'd either choose, according to the face, whether I choose Magic Foundation. Magic Foundation is pretty great for a red carpet just because of HDTV pores. Um, you know, that sort of, it just, it's a little bit more, it stays in place. It's kind of very forgiving. Yeah. Um, and so Magic Foundation, oh my God, Airbrush Flawless Finish, cannot, the powder, this. Oh, oh my God, God. So I love it. Is, I mean, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, that was my biggest, biggest thing as a makeup artist. Could never, ever find a powder that after the heat or whatever didn't cake, sit in the pores, the lines, make people look older. So when I came up with this and the finally, 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 it's like fi so finely yeah. nailed, it's almost like just disappears. Actually, you put it on pores and lines. And i never forget, who is, I think it was Jennifer Lopez said to me, Literally, you can put it around your eyes. It actually, makes you look younger rather than older. Yeah. And that is the first time yeah. it's super a powder. Rare. It's and you know like airbrush. Really, it's exactly. Amazing. It does that airbrush. It just, which is why I called it that airbrush flawless. It just smooths you it's out. It's brilliant. And every time we travel a lot in the US, and all the makeup artists that that we meet out there always use that product. They're There's, all about that. Yeah, it's no, brilliant. Uh, and that that's that's always up great I'm now using one of your fabulous brushes, darling. Oh, thank you. I do love this brush. It's fantastic just to get under the eyes. It's a really You've done a fabulous line Tiny. of brushes. Thank Tiny, you. Tiny, right in there. I am. Um, I've been trying to find another powder because I can't use yours right. in every video. But there <laughs> isn't one. It's so good. I know. Thank you so much. Good. We love that. We love that. <laughs> Long may it be that way. Yeah. I know. I know. Got to stay ahead of the curve. Always with the lads. I'm always driving them crazy. Right. What's the latest innovation? What can we get? What can we do? They're like, oh no, not her again. <laughs> Um, how long, you know when you do your, like, you do your Catherine Zeta, Jonesy, red carpet looks, yes. how long do you get to do it? Um, actually, that was really good. I think we had about an hour, oh. so that was that was good. Sometimes sometimes we have longer because it depends because you're doing hair, you're chatting, yeah. you're kind of, you know, it's that sort of, um, it's always, I, I love my job. I mean, I just, the, the idea, I mean, you know, just even sitting here today with with you two and sort of catch up. I mean, it's fun, which is, I mean, yeah, basically totally. when, I, when I always said, I, my favorite thing was playing Barbie. And I sort of feel like I'm still kind of, you know, I'm just having so much fun playing dress up. Dress up was my favorite thing. And kind of making women look gorgeous. I mean, don't we have the best jobs in the yeah, world? Yeah, amazing, I love it. I we love it. just make women uh, look like the most beautiful versions of themselves. And that's really what life is all yeah. about. This is the thing though. If you get somewhere and something happens and they've got 15, 20 minutes to get ready, yeah. right? What's your, What's your face that you put on them? What's your key? Okay, so, so, so sometimes with a celebrity, we are in a rush. Totally. They're just like a day look, whatever, really, really fast. Colour chameleon every single time. Yeah. Because you can, what I'm doing to you now, I can just be distracted, chatting, and just, ch ch and it's like, I don't really need any technique. They're going to look gorgeous. It's got um, the pearl in it, so it's going to give you the dimension. You're going to look like you put eyeshadows on, blended it beautifully, and actually, one product, scribble, smudge, done. Yeah. yeah. Done. And this is sort of like those girls who are on the tube, I always say to them, you know, those, 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 no women, lots of women say to you, oh no, I can't do a smoky eye, or I can't do that, or I've got no technique, I've got no time. I'm like, okay, those girls, I call them wing mirror makeup girls. Yeah. They're like, okay, I'm on a school run, I'm, I'm Charlotte, I'm not, and I'm like, no, no, you are gonna put on makeup, so I'm gonna give you this, in kind of bronzy natural colours, like that, in the wing totally. mirror, you know. And that's and how it looks best sometimes. Yes, it when does. It's not done it's too, not too, not too not too Makeup's perfectly. not meant to be Lived perfect. in a bit sexy. And Mario yeah. Tissine always says that to me. He's always like, you know, he loves the kind of like smudgy kind of eye pencil, or the kind of, he's always making me put a bit more magic cream on the sh yeah. uh, shot you know, on a celebrity or a model when we're over, we're doing Vogue or whatever, just before we go on, because he's like, I want it to feel like a married to Stina girl, kind of a bit more lived in the face, you know? Yeah, beautiful. Um, How would you describe your makeup, your makeup kind of look? Uh, my makeup look, I think, uh, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm always known for sort of the smoky eye till I die. Um, you know, it'll be kind of probably on my gravestone, but... Um, <laughs> That's but, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Mum. Oh, smoky eye <laughs> till I die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, exactly. And I think, but also, and I love kind of, I love sort of winging out the eyes, kind of, you know. I, I, I think the eyes, I love making people, like, it, it was hilarious, actually, I think once, no, I think, I know. Um, I think it was uh, Stella McCartney and Kate Moss, kind of, I, had a, I did, was doing Stella's makeup, I couldn't do Kate's or something, they went to a filming thing, she was like, you've got a Charlotte Tilbury eye, and I've got a BBC eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and, 
And I think it's because I, you know, it's like and, and, and in in the industry, I kind of I'm very known for eyes, kind of yeah. making kind of eye, people's eyes look amazing. Which why I, I, when I see you two, I'm just like, oh my god, they've got the most incredible eyes. Um, but I do, and I do think you can bring out everyone's eyes and make them look really amazing. Um, and I would say I was known. I'll tell you what, in the industry, I was first known for doing amazing skin. That because I, I started at the time of grunge, yeah. so I've been a makeup artist for 26 years. And that's and it was really kind of you know it was really that's when the probably before I went to the labs with Magic Cream was the basis of me mixing oils um, onto the skin and kind of the start of Magic Cream, and then um, and that's really what I was kind of I, I became very well known for a long period of time because so it's just coming out of the supermodel era, and then so I became really well known for skin and then I became really well known for eyes and then it was just sort of and and always just if you ask most models. What is Charlotte's kind of um, you know signature. Sort of signature look? They would say Charlotte always makes us look like the most beautiful. They, it was always yeah. like they, that yeah. that tagline that I came up with the most beautiful version of yourself is almost what the girls would always tell me. So it's sort of, and I mean I love conceptual makeup, and but it's not you know it's like I can do it. My father's a painter, and I love sometimes you know get paint to spat at the face or kind of be inspired by Damien Hurst dots or you know. Um, Loads of different artists, which you know, where, where, you know, might be um, whoever they are, but you know, Dali, whoever. But it, but actually, I just want to make the women look gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. You that's, want to make them look yeah. and feel and I can, amazing. I can often and tell I have work. so much admiration for so many makeup artists. Yeah. It's just that's not my core, my DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years and years and years ago, and you wouldn't remember this, but years ago, probably early two thousands, I assisted you on a show. And no yeah, I know, what? right? <laughs> 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 So, so, sorry. so sorry to all those people out there ghastly. She really didn't know. She really didn't know. Um, and she wanted to know I, oh This God. is what I learned from like, you, Charlotte. You yeah. were the first makeup artist, and I'd assisted loads. You were the first makeup artist that I'd seen sit down and apply makeup. Oh, darling. You were the first makeup artist that I'd seen apply bronzer. So gorgeous. All around the hairline, which oh. are, to this day I still do. You know, like. Oh, I would, love that. And darling, I, I loved love it. that. And you really took control of your models which i hadn't really seen before like the way you used brushes you were quite firm like you knew exactly what you were doing and i watched you and i, I thought for that no no well, i mean it was brilliant but you know there's things you pick up from no. people and i yeah, just no, thought no, of course was, you, you, do. Was, and, you do and we all have like you've got amazing techniques and you know everyone has their style and you can always and i you never stop learning to the day you die no, never i'm so still learning sure. do you know what i mean Look up for when we're done. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of my rock and coal eyeliner just to kind of line the eyes. Just go in there. Oh. I love the feeling of this. Yeah, I must I be the only person today. in the world that yeah, loves must. a little bit of that in the water oh, line. In the water line. Do you ever go on the top? Yeah, and I like the feeling me. of that as well. She's a weirdo. Oh, I like to line the top of the eyes. We always do that, Kate Moss and I always line the top of the eyes. Just get that intensity. Yeah, oh. otherwise it just doesn't look I mean, finished. Not, yes, exactly, it doesn't look finished, exactly. Look up for me, now we're gonna do this. And I love what I love also about the rock and cold eyeliner is that I wanted something so you know we love smudging, but then you know what I mean. Sometimes when it people move it, it, it can do two can be like sort of down the face down here. So this, do you see how kind of like creamy, 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 mm. black, black, intense, intense, intense kind of you know real sort of pigment, and then it kind of and then it lasts all day. I've never used this goddess skin clay mask. Hours. Should I? What's it oh going to do god. for me? Okay. Oh my god. So today when I was exhausted, which is kind of story of my life at the moment, but, um, you know, probably went out, had a bit too much fun last night, mm -hmm. and put that on, and I thought, okay, gosh, I'm filming, I'm a really bad model. Can I open this? <laughs> yes, please yeah. do. Oh my God, actually, we, should we do a test? You can put, you'll see what it does, because like, it's Can't so, it. what's so fantastic about this is a real before and after, hold on, it's a bit annoying. It's a tricky one. It's you tricky. know you know when someone's doing something, shall I get let someone, me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, like that, hold on one second. You got, she's, got she's got it, she's got it, she's got it. There we go. it. Okay, got a skin clay mask. Yeah. Right, so look, put this on here. This is amazing, let's see. So this is, okay, put that on there. Yeah. Right, and then leave that on. We'll just chat for sort of 10 minutes. Yeah. And then put the take that off, on. and you yeah. are going to see a massive difference of, um, on between. Can I smell it? Yeah, you can. It smells nice. Oh, is it amazing? It's got yeah. almond it oil. It does smell lovely. Yeah, it's got rose oil in it. Um, it's Spanish clay. And it's really, really fantastic. And what it does is it, it kind of, it takes down any swelling in the skin. It closes up the pores, but it also, not like most clay masks that dry you out. This actually kind of closes up the pores, but actually kind of puts a lot of moisture 
back into mm. your skin. So it's really good. You will see when you take that off how different, how moisturised and how different. And it takes down massive amounts of redness in I the skin. I need that in my life. It's like, can it, it take, it's really, can it so get really actually, dark under eyes? And also, a lot of the time, when, when I'm doing red carpets, I'll do a kind of mini facial. We, don't have, we know we never have that much time, but yeah. I might whack that on. If I've got five, ten minutes, put that on. Yeah. Especially when you're doing makeup at the Cannes Film Festival where people are kind of going out late, they have the heavy schedules or whatever, you're doing lots of kind of, on a celebrity, you know, if it's whatever, cinema or whoever, yeah. you're kind of like, they're, they're on a heavy schedule, you'll put that on, whack it off five, ten minutes, then put the the, uh, the dry sheet mask, wherever that is, somewhere around here. I haven't got it, but I use There's that. Little, um, we both use that. We both use that. Yeah. I don't know where someone maybe can hand me one of those. Um, the dry sheet masks, and you put that on top, and then just put that in, and then it plumps the skin. And all the dehydration and the kind of exhaustion just sort of plumps out of the face. Amazing. That's it. Yeah, it's amazing. But that was that's the amazing. I have to say, these are these amazing scientists that I just drive crazy about. You know, like I, yeah, I want to facelift in a bottle. They're like, oh god. You know, <laughs> I she want to retexturize my skin. You know, they're like, <laughs> there's okay, there's a reason yeah. why it does so well. <laughs> like, but um, but it, and, and you know, and, and for me, we're all about you know results driven. Um, How long has, in advance are you see? Do you work is, like when you think I need this product? Yeah. How long does that idea take before it's on the shelves? Because it can take a really long oh time. Oh my it? god! Well, I was I was telling you there's a product that I'm coming out with, which I can't obviously mention. Otherwise, my no. PR team will kill me. Um, but I think it's probably taking me. It's probably taking my whole life to kind of come up with that wow. product. But I've been really, really working on it for like the last six years, and I'm fine. I was like this morning. I was just like, oh my god, it's amazing! I've done it! I've done it! I've finally done it! Do you know what I mean? I think it's people like, think like, that things just come like you that. You dream? No, you dream doesn't. of things. Yeah. I'm still dreaming of so many different things, but the. You know, the technology or the labs will have to kind of catch up. They're like, we can't do it, Charlotte, we can't do it. So you're like, okay, park it, we'll try, you know, and then they keep on trying and and it kind of works. But, you know, like, for instance, the Goddess Skin Clay Mask that we have on there, on Sam's hand, um, that really came about because um, it was my, in Ibiza, there was this woman, friend of my parents, who used to fix people's bones with clay because it's so healing. And also... There was this, there's this uh, island off Formentera near yeah. Ibiza where they have this kind of clay, um, like natural clay wells. So you would, we would go there, put clay all over us, and I, so I used to always see the healing properties of mixing aloe vera, oils, clay um, together because I was brought up around all these kind of, you know, amazing kind of alternative people that sort of, you know, did lots of kind of creams and natural kind of remedies. And we would put it on, and she, I swear to you, she's about, I don't know, 75 but looks kind of like sort of 48, 5, Amazing. 8, you know what I mean? She's just yeah. fantastic. And it always stayed with me how incredible that kind of mix of clay and how our skin looks so radiant and smooth and poreless. It really shrinks the pores. That's what's so mm. amazing about that. Um, but you both have absolutely beautiful skin. But yes, everything, everything in my brand sort of starts with a story. And I kind of think that, you know, it, it might be me wanting to steal a kind of... Um, a celebrity's beauty DNA, it might be kind of, you know, I might be inspired by somebody, I'm like, I might go to a lab and just be like, I'm obsessed with, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez or Giselle, or I'm obsessed yeah. with, you know, how can I get that kind of, I want that, you know, skin in a jar, like, you know, the, the one Wonder Glow is all about, you know, how can I bottle Giselle? Yeah, you know, um, can you tell me the story of your perfume? Oh, yes, really the story, nice story, yes, yes, exactly, so the story of my perfume, my story of my perfume, I was obsessed with, so this is it, Scent of a Dream. It smells amazing on you. Thank you. I, I was like, oh, God, you smell so good. <laughs> That's what we want to kind of hypnotise people. So anyway, this, um, that was, it was the most wonderful project, working with this amazing um, nose I've worked with for years, um, called Francois, uh, so I, I haven't worked with him for years, I've known, um, who came up with, he basically, he sits, he's, he's the um, president of the Society of Perfumers in France. And he, I said to him, Listen, I'm obsessed with how people can time travel with scent, how you can haunt ex-lovers, friends, memories, childhood, whatever it is that you can do. You know, I'm obsessed with memory. So my team, I said, look, I know, and, and it, it, you know, no one had ever done this actually in any scent campaign ever, right? So I said to my team, I know you can time travel with scent, you know, how you can evoke all these memories, because I've worn the same scent since I was 13. And it, again, we, uh, all these kind of hippie markets that we would go to, and, you know, my parents... And a lot of their friends would have amber, or they'd have patchouli, or you know, like all those kind of you know, frankincense, all of that. And then all these amazing kind of oil bottles, and I just sort of mix my own scent. So the basis of this scent is a mix, but then with his sophistication, it became much better. Um, but and and so, but I could see how you could evoke memories with it. And then he basically, so we went to, uh, so we found this, and my team found um, this amazing man called Richard Axel, 
who discovered in 2004 that you can, it, it bypasses all of your sensors go through thousands of filters, and this one bypasses all of your kind of all of your um, filters, and it goes straight into the emotional memory bank, which is the amygdala system, kind of the limbic system. And so that's why when you smell something, you can be like, oh, and you can literally time travel back 20 yeah. years. And, and, and so, um, so we are very on purpose, you know, very kind of, you know, uh, sort of really kind of premeditated, kind of, you know, <laughs> terrible, but, you know, thought about the notes that we wanted to lay out of how they could evoke certain feelings. So frankincense is something it's been a spiritual portal, you know, or, or if you read about yeah. throughout history. So it makes people feel very dreamy. It kind of, it, it actually has something that it does to the brain. Makes you it makes stressed, you feel, doesn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Frankincense and also very dreamy, kind of very sort of, um, and then, and, and it's this time portal thing. And then also it's got, um, you know, the rose obviously in it, kind of, and jasmine, which is kind of like the love gods, and lemon, which makes you feel really calm. And then it's got isoly, superhedion, and nambroxin, which actually amplify your... Own wow. pheromones, so it will, it will smell a bit different. Ah. On you or you or you, ah. but it also has a trail. Okay, and I didn't know how to kind of you know. We were like, I said, okay, I, my my scent has always had a trail, and I said, so it has to have a trail. When I was talking to Francois, and he's like, you know what? Even as noses, we don't know how or why you get a trail when you have a certain mix. And he said, so I said, but I know I have a trail. He's in what I've mixed, and you know, previously before yeah. we mixed it with him, and he said. Okay, let's hope it still stays, and it does, and it has an amazing trail because I, you know it's literally. And we've got we're gonna start a thing called the scent diaries because we've had so many people kind of come up to us saying, "Oh my god, but, you know, scent stalkers running down the kind of the road," or I've met people running down after me at airports or different places. Oh my god, what's that smell? Oh my god, you know, cafes anywhere. I mean, I've had stopped been stopped by so many different people and kind of had so many amazing different situations because of scent of a dream, um, and, and and you know, and, and that's exactly what I wanted it to do mm. to kind of you know. I believe that you know you can, uh, makeup is all about psychology, making you feel yeah. empowered, making you feel beautiful, making you feel better, and scent should do the same thing. It should just amplify all of those and evoke all of those emotions, not only in the person that wears it, but in the person that can smell you. So it's it, it affects all of our senses, which is what I love about yeah, scent. Yes, lovely. Mm. So that's a slightly long time. It's <laughs> <laughs> great though. I love well, that I should, story. Anyway, There's anyway. Lots of people joining, which is. Great. Um, asking you to say hello again, um, and also question to you, Sam. What's your favourite Charlotte Tilton's product? What do you use the most in your daily regime? Okay, the product I use the most because I use it every single way, uh, every single day is um, Light Wonder Foundation. Oh, but I use lovely. a lot of different things. But I love Light Wonder, um, and I am notoriously disloyal. Uh, yeah when it comes to foundation. Promiscuous. But that is one way of looking at it. But um, Light Wonder, I liked when I tried a few years ago, and then when I went down to about, I went to a seven, um, when I was away this year, I got quite tan. Oh, did you go there? You did get tan, I know, darling. and it was lovely. And I, and I started wearing seven, and then I was like, this is heavenly. And as I got lighter, I started mixing in four. Now, if you haven't tried mixing seven and four, it is the most beautiful mix it just is stunning. it is a good mix i love four. it i love it and so what i do is i have Absolutely a four right. in the winter and i have a seven in the summer and then i just mix throughout the year and that way i never really have to buy any other foundation so yeah that would be the one that i use the most but there are, but other things that i use um i use um lots of lipsticks i've been known to wear um hell's That's bells fun. when i want something really dark um i wear Helen Bonham carter's color yes Yes, I love that. Um, I wore Karina's Love the other day, which was the most recent one. Yes, that's um, one I'm going to put on you today, Karina's Love. Yeah, oh, amazing. Is. I love no, that. Actually, I'm like, no, I'm not putting Karina's Love. I'm putting Love Bite on you today. That's what oh, I'm right. Putting. Well, I haven't even tried that one. Um, I could go okay, on. I use the Rock and Coal in the light colour and in the black. Um, uh, okay. What else Legendary do I lashes. use? I use Wonder Glow. Sometimes I mix it with my foundation. Nice. I always, always use this. It's in about 50,000 of our videos. Um, what was that? You. Film star bronze and glow. Uh -huh. What's the story behind that, Charlotte? People are asking. Oh, uh, the story behind film star bronze and glow. Well, actually, it has a lot to do with Jennifer Lopez. So Jennifer Lopez, whenever I work with her on Louis Vuitton campaigns or kind of album covers or anyway, whatever, whenever I work with her, she was always, you know, she always had not forgotten those kind of Hollywood tricks. She was doing the glow, yeah. the contour. It was her thing before. Really, it came back in a massive way. Yeah. And um, and I thought, you know, and we, I was always mixing loads of different colours to get the contour, loads of different kind of things, and, and mixing mediums to get the highlight. And sometimes you'd be like, oh, God, on set, you'd be like, oh, no, no, it's going to be too much, or it's too grey, or it's this. 
and it's just annoying. And then I remember going, well, I've got to find that perfect contour colour. It's almost like a little bit sun-kissed, but gives you a contour. Yeah because I couldn't find it. Mm. And, and I wanted a highlighter that was like this dreamy candlelit kind of lit from within skin. And that kind of I could get away with kind of almost suiting anyone. There is a darker film style bonds and glow, but basically, night, you know, sort of a good 70% of the population, you get away with that. With darker to kind of medium skin, to, uh, compared to medium skin tones. And, um, and, then, and, and then we've got a dark one that's just that's so gorgeous on dark skin tones, like just really beautiful. But then anyway, I kind of, I really wanted to create something that, you know, that really, it was very much inspired by her, just, and it was just highlighting, contouring, all in one product. And then I launched it, and then con contouring, so almost like a year later, became a massive a thing. And now I've done the, con now I've done the Hollywood sticks. Yes. To kind of, um, to go down really the contouring that's going on now, which is a little bit more intense, because that's something that, you know, um, whether it's Cara or Poppy Delevingne, they'll always be, you know, putting that on kind of very, like, but they'll use that as a bit of like sun kissed, kind of no makeup, and they'll just take that and sort of take a big brush and sort of use it all over yeah. their face. Oh, well. um, I should probably do some makeup while I'm just <laughs> yeah. We're going to um, be here a really long I time. I know, right. Okay, so <laughs> marvellous, which I, of course I would love. Right, um, I'm going to use my rock chip palette. Um, and so this is always, you know, I, I would, people sometimes say to me, well, you know, what do you do? And I'm like, well, it's prime enhanced smoke pop. And then you just flip onto the back and it tells you exactly what to do. Prime Enhanced Smoke Pop. And then you can always turn on a YouTube video and watch the sisters, <laughs> the Woods, or, you know, Sam and Nick or myself um, uh, telling you what to do with it. Anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do, what I did on Catherine Zeta Jones the other day is I basically whacked that on. And then I thought, actually, this is my favourite, um, well, not my favourite, but it's one of my kind of uh, most incredible eyeshadows. And this eyeshadow actually this formula cost me an arm and a leg i think it is officially the most expensive eyeshadow your, formula in is the world this the matte one um no this 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 one this oh, this yeah. shimmery your, one your um you have done your matte eyeshadows really well thank you matte is really matte hard. hard well you know really well, we hard. know how hard yeah. it is to get matte and how they kind of like either crumble too crumble much drop uh, don't like can't yeah, don't just, blend they just exactly. disappear some disappear, of them but yours yeah. are dense and really packed and true to colour, which, which is really difficult. So which is, I have to say uh, thank that's really you. Good. I know. Well, exactly. As we know, I'm like, drive those labs crazy. And we, and we were all perfection. We're artists. So we want that, yeah. you know, that formula. For me, it was like eyeshadows were my big bugbear. Because so many people say, because the eyeshadow formulas weren't that great, yeah. they say to me, oh, I can't do eyeshadow. Oh, no, I couldn't do smoke. Oh, I couldn't do that. And I'm like, no, it's just because the, pro the formula's not good enough. If the formula's great, I promise you, you really don't need much technique. Yeah. Um, I mean, so even, even, I don't. Uh, there has been times when we've used eyeshadows where we've been obviously not yours, where we've been like, "Wow, that was such hard work." Even now, with all the experience yeah, that you, we have using makeup, yeah. when I use a bad quality eyeshadow, I'm like, "You got this to, is you hard really got to have bring out your skill set." Hell yeah, yeah. you've got to layer that. You've got to find something underneath. Mix, that's yeah, make exactly. It. Put it's, a primer it's hard on. For do, sure. Yeah, kind of. You've got to sort of almost reinvent it. Absolutely. You know, to kind of. So turn that way for me, darling. No, so you always use your finger to put the, the yes, shimmer now, on, don't you? Yes, now, exactly, I do. I always use my finger because actually um, this eyeshadow has a lot of oils inside it. And so it's oils and it's got finely kind of milled um, <laughs> glitters inside it. And it really, I mean, this, it, it, it costs a fortune, this, which is why there's one in each one. It is yeah. like literally the most expensive Gold formula <laughs> it is in the world. It's like, oh God. Um, but anyway, it's amazing. You can literally use a finger and almost the oils in your finger actually to pick it up are better than using a brush. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice and easy. And you can use it as a veil. So you can just put it on as a little pretty shimmer or you can sort of pack it on. And I'm not packing on actually, I'm just doing a tiny bit more on you. But it's just so pretty. Look at me, darling. And this is what I did the other night on the gorgeous um, Catherine, and now on you, the gorgeous Nick. <laughs> so I, I love this, it's so forgiving, so easy, again. Um, right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of, so I'm gonna take my um, brush, I'm gonna just use that, take, dip that into a little bit of the prime shade, just to go in the corner, to open up the eye, we love that. You girls have the best faces for makeup. Oh, thanks. Really great. Sam, while yes. Charlotte is doing the contour, mm -hmm. look up for me, um, do you mind answering Alice Trollope's question, how did you get into makeup? Because you're asking. Yeah, we got into makeup because our aunt was a makeup artist. So when I was deciding what to do at Who school... Who was your aunt, darling? Uh, Maggie Hunt. I know her. I know. Yeah, she's, yes. uh, she's old, old school. She's old school, great. Yeah, yeah. so when, when we had to decide what to do at school... Yeah. She was doing really well. So she was doing loads of famous people. She was doing like, you know, lots of royalty, Princess Diana and 
people like that. And yes. it just seemed like... How did well, I not know that? Or maybe I did, and I'm just... We don't really, really shout about no. it tons, but I mean... You should. We probably should. amazing. But um, well, neither of us were particularly academic. And you were? More so. I wouldn't... S- my, not really. <laughs> we're artists. <laughs> <laughs> and it just seemed like... T- it seemed like an easy thing to do. Yeah. And it isn't an easy thing to do. When I found that out afterwards, um, it's actually really hard work. But she took me along on shoots. I think my, you know, like we just, I'd go backstage and I'd just be like cleaning her brushes and trying to stay under the radar, as she would say, just stay out of the way, stay under the radar. Um, and yeah, and then Nick started as well. She's still yeah. around, is she still uh, She doesn't make not so much anymore. anymore but but um, we really learned, she must she's be so from her. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She's she, really She came great. around my dinner the other day and we really learned shoot etiquette from yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a different thing it's being so on the shoot. Different. Different. Yeah. It's so different. Like, you, then the makeup artist was only booked, yes. not because of the amount of Instagram followers they no. had or anything. No, 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 because no yeah. they, um, But also, you, you were, people would tell you stuff and you didn't repeat it. Absolutely. Discretion, discretion, yeah. discretion. Yeah. Blue Violet Nova says, Nick's eyes are They do. Cleopatra. So win. <laughs> who, who are you guys as idols, starting with Sam? And Charlie oh. still on the contour. Everyone okay. knows I love Kate Moss. I've always loved Kate Moss. I grew up yes, with Kate Moss. She, I know, we all love her, I mean, don't we? She's totally. just the best. Back in, back in the early days when I was really interested in makeup, I used to have a magazine called The Face delivered to my house. Like, oh, every we month, love The Face, right? yeah. And I would rip the pictures out, and my whole wall, do you remember? Was like yeah. pictures of Kate or pictures of whatever the. Sometimes whatever. you had you had a couple of the Athena guy holding a baby as well. Yeah, that didn't last long. <laughs> that didn't last long. I had the clock, um, and Ugh. yeah, I was so obsessed with Kate. I remember seeing this picture of her, and she she had like these big platform shoes on. She was holding a teddy bear. It was short in black and white. I think it might have been Corin Day, yeah. and I was so obsessed. I just wanted to look like Kate Moss. Kate Moss is responsible for the fact that I have no eye, eyebrows now because I plucked them oh, all out yes, in the nineties. So yeah, it, mine would be Kate. Yours, Nick? Elizabeth Taylor. Oh yeah. I've got the win. I just think she was a real woman. She was feisty. Um, I just loved everything about her. She was a fantastic oh, actress, yeah. and she just uh, was a really kind lady as well. And she supported amazing charities mm. um, for AIDS. And I just think she was fantastic. Yeah. She came out with that great uh, quote, which is "Pull yourself together. No, put on some lipstick. Pull yourself. Yeah. Pull yourself a drink. Pull, what was it?" Put on some lipstick, pour yourself a drink, and pull yourself together. Oh, I love it. So She's fabulous. amazing. Yeah, so fabulous. So English, actually, to say something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so right. I mean, the, the, you know what? I, what I love about that quote is that she really, like Winston Churchill, understood the kind of positivity and the happiness of lipstick in a. You know, yeah. it is basically happiness in a tube. It is total. You know, it just you put that on empowerment, kind of you know makes you feel fabulous, pulls you together. Totally, but and it's also I think with Elizabeth Taylor, she shows, you know, as well as anyone, mm. that it's absolutely fine to be Gorgeous. an intelligent, powerful, you know, incredible woman with tons of talent and still totally. love lipstick and it's fine. and, and yeah. still be down to earth and normal and all that. Well, I don't know that who she was, was necessarily down who's to my, earth. Who's my? I always love Bridget Bardot. I Bridget yeah. Bardot. I kind of love her, but you know, I'm crazy about Kim. I'm, 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 I'm crazy about so many, so many different kind of people. I mean, I love you know Jane Birkin's look, yeah. and I kind of love. I mean, for me personally, it was always like I was like, can I have Bridget Bardot hair? Yeah, <laughs> which like, you do. <laughs> it's great. We're desperately trying to kind of you know, but um, yeah, all kind of you know, I love the kind of feline flip, Kate Moss's eyes, or kind of Bridget Bardot's eyes, or kind of you know, all of that. But you know, the fringe of Jane, you know, Jane Birkin. Um, yeah. we could, I love so many Marilyn Monroe. I mean, I can, yeah. we, could go, we could all be here all day. The list goes on forever, doesn't it? Exactly. Right, film star bronze and glow. I'm going to pop so that on. where they can buy the bundle. Um, okay, so you can buy the bundle on charlottetilbury.com. So uh, yes, please go to charlottetilbury.com. It's the most fabulous website with lots of fabulous things on it um, and lots of Christmas gifts. Um, exactly. You've got You've a got, calendar. I've got a calendar. I've got a yeah, my naughty and nice uh, My naughty and nice box, which my husband said, I can't believe you called it that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
anyway, it's fabulous. So my naughty and nice box is over there, and it's got lots of kind of amazing. It's sort of it's my little advent calendar. It, every day it's got ma mini magic creams. Good. You get good value. In really that. good. I mean, in, I can tell you insane value in that, and also kind of um, I can't remember, but it's yeah, I remember going through it with the kind of the, um, the people, but you really get a lot of money off in that. So you get a whole thing of ma magic cream that lasts you for I don't know months, and you get eye makeup moves and clay masks and lipsticks and God knows what. So that's really fantastic. And then we've got my lipstick masterclass, which, which I you've have got here. there. Exactly. This is pretty awesome. Isn't it great? Do you love that box? I love oh it. My God, it's gorgeous. Magnetic as well. I know. No exactly. expense. No expense. Oh, oh my darling. <laughs> You're using oh. a Real Techniques contour brush. I there. am. Just... Thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> I am. It's fabulous. I'm going to contour. Exactly. My film star bronze and glow. This is gorgeous. These brush. are nice. They're nice. They're they? Really, really nice. Really glide on really beautifully. Really love it. America's Oh, yes. Very nice. Very, Very nice. So yeah, so we're doing a little film star bronze and glow with your fabulous brush. Very nice, this brush, darling. And I'm going to do take this and literally kind of pop it into the. I told you she does that. I told you. There we go. It's a good tip. <laughs> Well, exactly what it does is it kind of shortens the forehead, it narrows the forehead a little bit, not that your forehead needs narrowing, but it kind of brings the whole face together and, you know, you're sort of bringing the light I in. think where people put so much highlight around here, yes. this is doing it without having to put tons exactly. of makeup tons on. Exactly, tons of makeup on. It's not everyone yeah. can wear tons You've of makeup. You've got all some cheekbones as well. And I always love to do a little bit on the Me jaw. Me too. Love a little bit on the jaw. Gorgeous. And Where then... You at Meekness says, Charlotte... Um, and Chapman Sisters, let, let them know that you're an inspiration. You inspire us every day. Oh, that's so um, nice. And they ask, Sam, what's your favourite lipstick shade? What? Uh, ooh. There we go. Oh, God, that's tough. What have I been using? Um, Super Cindy. Oh, Super, Super Cindy, Cindy is will be good on you. Yeah. Cindy Crawford's lipstick colour. In fact, they're all there. Look, those are all the uh, hot lip uh, colours. I think it, this it's looks not that amazing. One, is it? Yes, it is. I picked up the right one. Super Cindy and. Um, well done. Yes, I know. I love this colour. Look at me, darling. Gorgeous. And whenever I wear it, people always say, "What is that lipstick colour? It looks really nice on you." And actually. Um, Mary Greenwell said to me, what's that lipstick? And I went, Did it's you? Super Cindy. And she said, you should wear that every day. It's fabulous on you. Oh, I love Mary Greenwell. Yeah. Where's my so Hollywood Beauty go. Light wand? I don't think it's here. Sam's got one. I think. Hollywood oh, look, Beauty. there we go. Got, got it, got it, got it, got, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, okay. I'm obsessed with this. So I know, that, really you, nice I know that you guys actually will talk about it in a minute when you're yeah. doing it. But I just, this is, I, I get it again. I think one of my best products. I was literally like, you know, those Hollywood films where it's just like, you know, those amazing lights on the skin. And um, I also wanted something that wouldn't see, you know when you put a lot of, highlight, a lot of highlighters on and they, the formula goes into the pores and makes people look sort of, yeah. and the lines, and makes them look older than yeah. they are. We do not want that. This has an olive gel in it that literally you can go to the gym and it doesn't, it, you could constantly dewy and lit, Lovely. almost like you've got like diva Hollywood lights on you, but you're just smooth all the time, just incredibly smooth. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. I think it's literally and I just and I love the ease of it, the sponge. Yeah. Mm. Just and it, you and it's so fantastic. Look and, and just think. I, I'm obsessed with this. It's probably the best thing, one of the best things I've ever done. Because it's just like painting light onto the face and then it does not budge. It is you one of beautiful. your beautiful brushes. I'm just gonna blend that in. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice having your makeup like, done. I know, isn't it? It's just so oh, you can it's just so relax. How relaxing. I know, I go into a trance. Yeah, it's so nice. That's the Real Techniques it. setting brush. Okay, it is through. very, very good. There we go, Real Techniques, pop, popping that on. Oh, look at that. It's like painting Hollywood lights on to your skin. And I'm going to use now Pillow Talk lip liner. This is my favorite. I use it uh, is every it, day. Is it so good, the Pillow Talk? So good. It's just your nat it mimics your natural colour. It, I also like the waxiness of them. They're not. They don't, they don't move. They don't exactly. But they're not too dry, not exactly. too heavy. It was like because you know I, I, exactly. So when I was doing, uh, you know, coming up with the formula with it, I was like, I don't. They were coming up with these different formulas in the labs, and I was like, no, that's too harsh. People are like, kind of, it's just too heavy mm. loaded, and too waxy, still in the pores lines. I mean, it was just like getting that perfect texture. So that people can line their lips, because I was always into lip liner. I'm sure you guys were yeah. into lip liner. And it was super out of fashion when I first yeah. bought this back. 
And we brought it back, sort of did lip lines. Everyone was like, I can't believe you're doing lip lines. I was like, no, no, darling, I have to do a lip liner, but I promise you I can do it where you won't look. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Sort of overdrawn kind of. So, uh, but this colour, this colour was like, I, I wanted to mimic the natural colour of people's lips. So I wanted a lip liner, because quite often, you know, like, I don't know if you remember, I did that Vogue cover of um, Kate Moss, so she had like, oh, she look, looked like she almost had no makeup with Maritus, you know, it's like about a couple of years ago. And, um, and it, it looks like you're not wearing anything, but it just kind of plumps out your lips. And a lot of people actually just use a lip balm and sometimes pillow talk just because it, it defines your lips. Yeah, exactly. Nothing else. Um, well, actually, then there's a pillow talk lipstick. There's a pillow talk lipstick like this, which again, like, like we can barely keep hold of the stuff mm. on the side. It's like these almost sell like one a second or whatever. The lip pencil I use is Smile. the, oh, what is it called? Nick, what's the one I use? That you, don't, that, that's, you said it's the wrong colour for you. Do you know the one I it mean? It doesn't fit It's cooler than that. It's cool. It's oh, yeah. Um, Love button. No, it's... Um, soft beige, is it? No. no. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, iconic nude. Yes, that yeah, one. That's the one. Iconic I nude. I love that. I love that one. Yeah, that's good. That, that, that one was very much inspired by working with Kate Moss and kind of... See? There you, you go. See? See? It's all coming back. <laughs> see? Yeah, I know that was a kind of... <laughs> uh, I always liked... Jane Seymour. Yes, she Jane was Seymour, a tarot she was card reader, and oh it yes, all, it was quite cool. And the eyeshadow, she had this like shimmery kind of goldy green blended right out, very seventies. Very seventies. Fabulous. I love that. Uh, Alicia Vikander's worn it a lot. Um, she wears it actually uh, all the time, pretty much. It's kind of a great. It's one of those great colours. Again, that one. I think did Miranda Kerr use that one on her wedding day? Yeah, it, it's a great colour, and also loads of um. Uh, 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 lots of um, Asian people love it because they sort of think it looks like the the, uh, the lucky red bean paste. Yeah, it's you know how that very kind of like, it's like that it's almost like Snow White kind of perfect lips. Ah. You know that sort of like it's it's like pillow talk but a little bit more colour. It's mm. the, the perfect you know. Is that quite new? Because I haven't seen that one before. Uh, came out mm, year and two years oh, ago right. maybe. Yeah. Don't know where I've been. It's a great colour. It's, it's really a great nice. colour. Again, can barely those ones I can barely keep in. And they you sort know, of like fly when you out the door. Really push it in. It's a beautiful stain as well. Isn't it? Yes. Colour. Really look nice. amazing on you. Use actually, use that on the cheeks would be nice yes. as well. Yes, they both look gorgeous on cheeks. Yeah, they do. So this is exactly the look gorgeous. Right, I know I'm taking too long because I'm just too well, chatting. Best chatting. I get so distracted. Yeah, I want a little beach stick. Where is my beach stick, darling? So you've got to reiterate. Okay, right. Okay, darlings. What I have done. Right. I don't know where a beach stick is. It's certainly not here. I don't know. Can't find it. Maybe someone can buy me one. Uh, beach stick, um, beach stick. No, I can't see it. Uh, be someone will get me one. Okay, darlings, what I have done, you're right on camera, Ka uh, Constance. Um, <laughs> Marvellous. Right, okay, so uh, we have just done it. So we've started off by using the magic cream. And then um, I always use magic cream and magic eye cream at the same time. And I am... Um, also, I've also used um, Wonder Glow, Wonder Glow, which is amazing. Wonder Glow, which gives you that very candlelit, soft focus. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, violet pepper, so plumping the collagen. You put this on and it just soft focuses all your pores and lines and makes it really lit from within and radiant. This is fantastic. Onto the skin. Then we've used Magic Founder. Did you guys, uh, uh, we used Light Wonder, didn't we? Light Wonder. Light Wonder, Light Wonder Foundation, Light Wonder, which is... I know one of your favourite foundations, like Wonder Foundation. Again, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So again, plumping the skin full of moisture all the time, which is really great, especially when we're under these lights and air conditioning and in the winter, just completely killing your skin. So this is fantastic, this foundation. Again, I'm all about treating and transforming the skin. So you can, while you're wearing makeup, anything that is treating it at the same time. And that was really my premise when creating products. Um, then I've also used on Nick the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, which is fantastic again. It's a big kind of red carpet winner. It really gives it closes up the pores, smooths out the lines. It is really, the best powder. Thank you. I really, I really can I safely say as a makeup artist, I think it really is. Mm. It's been a whole column inches and God knows yeah, what kind it of is yeah. Um, so we've used that, and then uh, I've used my Hollywood Beauty Light one. Now my Hollywood Beauty Light one. We've painted here onto the skin. I just think it looks amazing. I think it's one of the most incredible, flattering, retexturizing, smoothing Hollywood. It just is a Hollywood Diva Light in a bottle. If you want to have that kind of amazing, sort of dreamy, candlelit, highlighted, um, you know, skin, this is it in a tube. And um, we've also used, then we've used my Rock Chick eyeshadow palette with my 
color chameleon eye pencil in black diamond. So we just pop that on the eye and again smudged it in just using my fingers and smudge that using my fingers really easy. Um, and that's available in my bundle and it's a smoky eye bundle. And um, we're going to, and now finally I'm going to use my beach stick and this is in Moon Beach and it's fantastic. And I'm just going to take um, my brush, my gorgeous brush. Actually, I might put it on with my Hollywood brush. I'm going to put it on with my Hollywood brush. I love this brush, I'm obsessed with it. Put that on. And this, I have to say, is so gorgeous because I think this is sort of like the supermodel kind of go to blush. And so, um, who is it? A makeup artist, I'm trying to think. A few makeup artists anyway in Hollywood because I always kind of, before the Oscars, um, yeah, is it exactly, Gigi and Bella's makeup artist. What's his name? Anyway, um, they, I, we were doing a kind of makeup sort of um, conference where they all come and kind of stock up for the celebs before we do their kind nice. of the Oscars. And, um, and he, we were laughing. He was like, I think if you, he was like, he was saying to me, darling, I mean, if you stop doing Moon Beach, I think the supermodels will just, you know, like, I'll freak out and have a nervous breakdown. And Amazing. I was like. <laughs> Where do you put blush out? So I like to put it high up on the cheeks, but never low down, because then you sort of drop the cheekbone and look a bit Aunt Sally, which we're not keen on. Um, so I like to put it, but I like to put it up here and then sort of softly blend it kind of in. Um, yeah, high, higher up on the cheek, I like to put it. To, but, but you know, How far back do you bring it? Because everyone's different. Every, it's true, everyone is different. Um, I like to go more sort of centre and then kind of, but it depends on the face. I mean, yeah. it does depend on the face. You will work with the face, but I like to sort of really in this sort of area here, high up on the cheekbone, and then sort of blend it back and around. But I don't like to go, it depends. If I'm doing a really kind of 70s look or kind of, then I might put it sometimes a little through the brown, a little bit on there, but that's yeah. a certain mm, kind a certain of look. look. Exactly, but I do love this because it's got a peachy kind of, you know, creamy hue and it just, mm. just look, you just look so dreamy and it's very soft and creamy. Yeah. Darling, there Beautiful. you go, so gorgeous. And a little, um, I might just put a little, little powder. What's your favourite cover you've ever done? Oh God, that is such a quick My favourite. I'm just cover. asking this for I know, myself. I know, I know. Okay, favourite cover. I don't know, but I did. I love that Kate Moss natural one. I mean, I don't know. I have this amazing fancy fair covers. I don't, you know, French Vogue covers that I've done. I don't know. I've got so, uh, uh, so many amazing. Think about it. I'll come back to you on It'll Twitter come back later. To me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, it's, it's hard that because I've definitely got like you know Giselle covers that I did kind of. Uh, um, that I really love for pop magazine. Yeah. I kind of do that kind of very sort of Varushka kind of inspired sort of seventies kind of makeup. And um, but then there are amazing ones that I've kind of you know Kate Moss for the Olympics. Um, I, I love the Vanity Fair cover um, that did gorgeous. I'm being told we need to swap, darling. <laughs> right. Thank you so okay. much, darling. Swap over. Now my exactly. turn. Yes, so exactly. You go in the have a look seat. in the mirror. Look. Darling, gorgeous. Right. right, I better go, oh, try and wash my hands. Well, here we yeah, go. shall I take my... <laughs> here. Mask off my hand. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh yes, we haven't done that. No, we can do that right. now. Exactly. So if anyone wants to ask me any questions while this makeup's going on, please, or if you want me to ask any to Charlotte, please just... I like put you down in the... Oh, so. You too. Oh, that's hilarious. I saw that's that and funny. I was like, look, oh my God. we're like ring twins. <laughs> <laughs> People are joining from a rumor saying, Nick, you look like a queen. You look incredible. Ooh. Oh. Nick, when do you do Christmas like shopping, Ashley? Do you need us? Do you start early Christmas shopping? Are you that well, we out? do. I start early. <gasps> I've done. I've done all my kids because a lot I've of the stuff that kids hand. want comes in season yeah, really yeah, early. Um, well, you've got and really as a family, skin. we do a secret Santa, so only one person gets. We buy for one person in the family, and you just hope that Tanya is your person because she always spends more than you're meant to. Or Jim. Or Jim. I just took that mask off my hand. I don't know if you can so see it. So this is the goddess. So exactly. This, just everyone that's tuning in now, this is the goddess skin clay mask. This is something oh, I always multi-mask. I don't know where my other mask yeah, is, but maybe someone could get me one. Um, thank you very much. Just grab that. And so whenever I'm doing a red carpet, I always multi-mask with my goddess skin clay mask. So sort of literally, even if I have five minutes, I put that on because it just closes up the pores, takes down the redness. We, now we put Look. it on Sam's hand. And I remember I said you will take the redness down. Look, and this is so you see the difference. I mean, I know you've put on a tiny yeah, bit of lipstick there. Yeah, but I mean, even here, look there, at the difference. Looks the more difference. glowing. And it's also the the tech. Can it you feel how it's like the texture? It closes up the pores, smooths everything out, clumps mm. out your lines, puts the hydration back into your skin. So it's not like a clay mask that 
dries you out. It actually plumps up your skin. So it's, it's got bion it's got bionic peptide in it, hyaluronic acid, it's got rose oil, camellia oil, amazing. And then also I always put on my instant dry sheet facial magic facial mask and it's amazing. It's something I use on the plane. I mean whatever. Actually back of cabs, sometimes people like that driving stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just to kind of plump out. Um, anyway, so, right, darling, you. Right. I finally right. got my hands on you. I know, you. I'm so excited. Okay, darling, so, right, we've already started off. Yes. We've already done, I always say, everyone needs magic cream. Magic cream is literally my life. I think if you want kind of, um, you know, magic skin, you need magic cream. Um, this is something I, I started my brand with, started my career with. It's what I kind of became known for backstage. It was really kind of, it was, it, uh, I didn't name it, the celebrities and supermodels and, and makeup artists backstage named it. It was my, it was known as Charlotte's Secret Cream because I was so paranoid about anyone getting hold of it because it was part of the reason that I was booked. And then, <laughs> it's, it's really and good. then, and so anyway, so I popped that on and then the Magic Eye Cream, which has got plant stem cells in it. And then we've used the Wonder Glow and the Light Wonder, didn't we? Yes, we, we yes, did, yep. we did light, So we did Wonder Glow and then White Lumber, um, White Lumber. <laughs> we can't speak. Right, okay. <laughs> Wonder Glow, which is which is very much inspired by Giselle in the Jar. Um, it was a, it, totally the kind of the supermodel Giselle Bündchen, and kind of wanting her to steal her DNA and sort of. So we came up with this. Um, it's a it's a really yeah. treat and transform product. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, bionic peptides, so pumping the collagen, pump, putting all the water back into the skin. But it also has this thing called fluorescent core, which it steals sunlight and then soft focuses it across your face and makes you look smoother, younger. It's a little bit like an Instagram filter. So right. people think they're just getting a foundation, but really you're getting way more. You're getting way more foundation. Way more. And that, exactly. And then, sorry, that was the, the Wonder Glow, but then Wonder you, and the Wonder Glow, but is like a filter. And the, but even the, the foundation is has got the hyaluronic acid. To your point in it, which is why I know you two are obsessed with it. Yeah. it's kind of like well, you can we have feel. Dry skin. I know we exactly. Like and we make us look younger. If you have dry things. skin, you will love that. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, if you have dry skin, I tell you, if you have dry skin like me, which is really dry, um, kind of almost one. reptilian, um, then you know th this. Oh, the magic night cream. Yeah, the you, I I put tons of it on, tons of and it. I'm literally stuck to the. I know, pillow. and then but you are for like I a second, but like for like maybe ten minutes. My skin just goes. It put it on. It's a little bit sticky at the beginning because it's got plants in it. It's a rich, rich, incredible cream, and then it just sucks it in. I love it. And then you just wake up to this. I tried to get my husband who has oily skin, skin to wear yeah. it, and he was like, "It's too much. Skin. <laughs> it's too much." And I was like, "Well, mine's gone." Because my skin's so, so thirsty. Yeah, my skin's so thirsty as well. So thirsty. And that on a plane. Oh my god, magic night cream. On a plane, saves your life. Yeah, saves your we life. take that. I've done that. Yeah, it's like so good. Okay, so right, I must. Sam, get into yes, your makeup. Yes, right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're here. Right. Okay. So, right, we have done. Um, so we've done a little bit of the feline flick, yep. which is here. Feline flick, very much inspired by a cat eye. Always kind of working with the sort of gorgeous. Came on, so just be adore, adore, adore. Um, sort of always, and I love, I've always loved a cat eye. So that was kind of really coming up with something that gives a really, really, really black, really, really fine, and gives you that real precision. Because so many people say to me, including my sister, I can't do a cat eye. And I'm like, okay, I've got, and there was a model once, who was it? Who literally, I looked at her eyes, I was like, your eyeliner looks amazing. She went, I've just put a Sharpie on my eye. <gasps> I was like, literally a Sharpie. And I was like, oh my God, that's so genius. <laughs> anyway, then, and, and so anyway, so then have to like, worry about I running. No, or... I know. Don't do that at home, Don't guys. Do that at home. Feel <laughs> flick. Feel flick. Um, okay. Well, you do your flick from underneath as well. I do. Yeah, I love I've, it. I've got. I've got those very kind of like. I mean, I try and call them bedroom they eyes. Are bedroom actually, eyes. They, they are bedroom eyes. They are. Actually, they're a bit kind of like exhausted eyes. Anyway, <laughs> and they're kind of like yeah, they sort of dream, sort of sleepy eyes. Anyway, so I have to kind of do it where it kind of comes across. I like it. It's super lot. nice. It's you like, know when you like that'll be me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I've got no face. other way to kind of do it. I'd love to get it up here, but it doesn't work. I love it. So nice. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put on a little bit of shampoo. Champagne diamonds. Yep. We put a little bit of that on now, um, and there we go. Gorgeous. Is there a reason you rub them on your hand before? Uh, do you know what? I just, just it's, it's, it's just a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. I mean, I don't know why I do it. I mean, I kind of do. I probably because I just want to sort of remind myself how much I want to put on or warm it up or, or warm something. it up. We were, yeah. I, I was just wondering because I feel people. You're so thinking, right. Why are you I using think that? War, war, warming it up is probably a good. I always do it as well. It's, I, I think yeah. it is a makeup artist habit, but I just wondered if there was a actual reason because sometimes you do things that you don't realise why you're doing yeah, them. Yeah, why are you doing it? A bit like you. an artist. Well, it's almost like an artist with his little sort of, you know, um, easel. Exactly. Is it, it's with your palette. Palette, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we use our back of our hands as palettes. It's also something about getting the right distribution of product onto your brush or onto your finger. Your apps. That's because if okay. you go for a palette. You. Yeah. Put <laughs> beautifully. Couldn't actually say that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, brilliant, brilliant. No, exactly it is. It's about the distribution, knowing exactly how much texture. Yeah. And I always kind of tell people, I think, yeah, you know, that's what you should. That, and, you know, when people say to me, them. you should use a palette, I think, well, I can't use a palette because I'll pick up too much product. I just will because I can't, I just don't work like that. No. I know what I've got on my hand. So I'm just popping a little bit of that in the corner. Look at me, darling. Gorgeous. And so I'm we have take... any questions coming in? So, um, Nick, a lot of people are asking where your blouse is from. Top shop. Is, uh, Toppy know. shop. The Toppy shop. Well, so thank good. you, though. So good. The Toppy shop. Thank you, see. Top shop. Also, question about um, foundation coming in from little old me. How do you, if you've got patchy skin, apply foundation to you? To me? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It depends on your skin. This is very technical, actually. It's not a question that you can answer very easily. You need to work out what your skin is. First, if your skin, if you're getting patchy in certain areas, um, you might need to exfoliate those areas. It might mean that you've got open pores, and that's why you're getting patchy, and you might need to use a primer in those areas. Um, it might be that you're using the wrong product that is, that is allowing it to be patchy. It may be that you need to use a brush to apply it or a sponge. There's loads of questions you need to ask yourself before um, knowing why the reasoning those were really great techniques you've given them really yeah, great techniques. i think people people can look at us yes. and the product that we use and think i want that to work for me and it doesn't always it's all it's a case of investigating and luckily you have a lot of products for people to try yeah. so you have your slightly fuller coverage foundation or your lighter one so people can opt between an item but, but it might be that you like something like the lighter coverage foundation like light wonder but then you might use retoucher in certain areas just to kind of get a little bit more coverage yeah you don't always have to go for the heavy option. No. Yeah. Um, and another question to you, um, Nick. Um, what's your kind of go-to Christmas look? Because obviously Charlotte's got all these party looks on charlottetilbury.com. What's your mm. kind of favourite Christmas go-to look for yourself? Like a quick pick-me-up. Um, quick pick-me-up Christmas, I bring out the red lip. It's the only time of year I do it is Christmas It's time. funny, isn't it? That is a I good just, old yeah. red lip, red carpet. That's why I kind of... That's why... That's why I literally named uh, red a, a little, yeah exactly red carpet red, and because it, because it's just that it's that time of year. It's just whenever there's a celebration, a red lip, timeless, iconic, will take you. Which anywhere. one? Which red do you wear? So I well I use a little bit of red carpet red, but I've got my lips that aren't that big, darling. So um, <laughs> so I in a little pot, you know, pat it on a bit, <laughs> a little bit of colour. Yeah, you know, but that's kind of you know that sort of red, the one that kind of red bean pea state. I love that sort of more kind of earthy red. I think um, in the winter Soft. it's it's much easier to sustain a black sharp liner um you're not so sweaty yeah because you're not because you, your oils aren't breaking it down so that's why i tend to go for a red lip in the winter because mm. i will powder my skin more mm. and I, my eyeliner will stay put that little bit better and it gets that classic look whereas in the summer maybe i'll go for a slightly orangey or red yeah i won't yes. normally wear a, a sharp liner in the summer as much yeah 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 so Charlotte, i'm just going to talk to you to speak about the fact that you can buy the red lip bundle Ooh. Oh yes, exactly. Now the red lip bundle is there. Okay, right. So the red lip bundle, which we are now doing on Sam, um, is so you can buy that charlottetilbury.com. It's the most fabulous website in the world. Um, it's got wonderful things. Obviously, slightly biased, <laughs> um, but it is fantastic. And uh, you know, and and you can get lots of kind of Christmas gifts there. My naughty and nice box. My husband still cannot get over. I called it that. Um, he's like literally like, what were you thinking? I was like, snatchy. Exactly, snatchy. <laughs> snatchy. <laughs> um, but yes, lots of fun. Nick, question for you. What's your biggest life lesson? What do you kind of tell yourself when you have a bad day? And that's from Cindy van der Hurst. Wow. After um, swearing a lot and feeling really, really down, um, normally it's because I've done something. Oh, my bad days are normally because I've done something that I probably shouldn't have done that way. Um, and I just think, right, you learn from your mistakes. That's all I would ever say to anyone is, if you make a mistake, if you don't learn for it, then you've made even more of a mistake. Well, it will just get you again, won't yeah, it? Yeah, again, again, again. I, 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 I exactly, in life. until you learn. Yeah, uh, that's I think exactly. in life in general, that is, yes. that is my main thing, and I have made a lot of mistakes. I have a new one, can I just say? Don't feel guilty. Right? Yeah, this, this, is, is, yeah. this has been a game changer for me. Just going, right, actually, okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend... I'm going to take the afternoon off and I'm going to spend it with my kids and I'm not going to feel guilty about not tweeting, not Instagramming, not yeah. working, not replying to emails, not do just because yes. generally we do and guilt yeah. is just such a wasted emotion, it doesn't benefit anyone. So Very true. try not to do it. It's Very true. No, exactly. And Charlotte, now you're going into the contour. 
Kelly Row 3 is asking, how do you contour a round face? So she likes subtle definition. Right. She's half Korean, and she finds it difficult um, to kind of contour her round face. Nick, question's open to you as well. How do you contour a round face? Um... I think you have to be careful, for one, because round faces you can really see if you put a stripe down your face. So just try and do it very, very subtly. Don't try and, and draw a big line and make a massive difference, because that's going to be really, really tough. Um, a contour brush, darling. But try and do it very, very subtly. Yeah. Build products up. If your face is round, then you're going to want to, like Charlotte did, contour right the way around with the, the bronzers right the way around, a little bit more through the cheekbone and a little bit more through the jawbone because that's going to sharpen them up. What contour does is, is it add, adds depth. So it adds shape and depth. Yeah. Um, but if your face is very Facial round... Facial structure, architecture... Yeah. If your yeah. face is really, really round, you do have to be careful that you don't get stripes. So I would say subtly. try and use like a gel contour kind of colour so it's a much more softer texture. Yeah. Like Charlotte's... This is... Charlotte's Hollywood thing is brilliant. Hollywood thing. Yes, exactly. It Hollywood is. contour want brilliant. It's a really good it's colour. It's a good texture. Yes. It's very, it's kind of like a sheer it gel kind of thing. Well. So you can blend that in. Sorry, Charlotte. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're trying to work and I'm no, shutting away. So, right, so you're so right. So, 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 so right. Well, that, um, that question was totally directed at you and we totally just stole it. Sorry. Oh, brilliant. No, no, no. God, oh, brilliant. Dude, dude, my marvellous. <laughs> I'll just sit here kind of be able to do some. No, it's brilliant. In fact, I know. I, so well, I'm just putting a little bit of my Film Star Bronze and Glow on. God, you girls have the most fabulous cheekbones. And skin. Mm, thanks. Gorgeous Sorry. skin. So I'm just Everyone's popping this up. So oh, good. Um, so the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm having all the fun. Film. A bundle, right, exactly. So I'm being told bundle, film star, bronze and glow. <laughs> smoky eye, we're now doing smoky, we've done the smoky eye look on Nick. We're doing that red lip on Sam. Um, and I'm just using my film star, bronze and glow, which is something I probably have used, I, I use on every celebrity, on every, 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 every cover, everything. Every day that I work, I use this. It's film star, bronze and glow. It's the most, it's the easiest way to contour and highlight. It really just makes you look bronzy and healthy. In fact, you're kind of, uh, one of our amazing beauty icons that we were slightly obsessed with, or <laughs> Kate Moss, um, is someone who kind of like gets it just kind of, and just does a bronzy kind of healthy look. Because, and that actually, for someone who has a round face, also, you'll never look too stripey or too dark, because yeah. it'll just make you look a little thing, bit yeah. bronzy, a bit you glowy. Know, sun, glowy sun kissed, yeah. Um, one thing that I think that you did was a massive game changer, was you brought out your looks. So there's yes. a look yeah, and a look. all the products are underneath. And I think that, or something that has been missing for years. So people well, exactly. know, you know, there's a reason why people go to YouTube to learn makeup. They want to know how to apply it and where it goes. And what you've done them. that in exactly. a look. And, and quite often people are like, I really want this lipstick, but I don't know what blusher to put with it, or I don't know what eyeshadows are going to work. And it's great it's for nice men. to see. For Christmas it's for men, when they just go, I, I want know, that whole exactly, look. Whole, or, what, what's so fabulous about it, yeah, for men, because, um, you know, a woman might think, oh no, I'm a sophisticate. And then the husband comes along and goes, no, I'm picking the bombshell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. I got asked by so many women, Please help me. What would suit me? How do I, you know, I always want that look. And I would always say to people, who's your beauty icon? Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, what, who do you want to, we all know who we kind of want to, you know, sort of be, like you were saying and before, it's Kate Moss. For me, it's looks. like, it's, you know, it, it's a bit Kate Moss, but it's a bit Bridget yeah. Bardot. So I'm kind of like, use the Dolce Vita or the Rock Chick, kind of, you know, Penelope Cruz, all of that kind of quite a lot. I bet Kate Moss's icon is Bridget Bardot. I think we have done her a lot. We were always like, I who are we bet. channeling today? Oh, Bridget Bardot. Is it, yeah, you know, it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> no, we've definitely done her with that in mind yeah. a lot of times. Um, right. So we're going to put on the Hollywood Beauty Light wand. And this is really fab. Uh, oh, it feels nice. Yes. Did you use that in Alice Temple's show? So uh, we did. So this we used at the Alice Temple fashion That's how show. That's got that lovely glow. And that amazing glow to the skin. And it really... Is and this is like painting on a little kind of Hollywood beauty light wand, and I also love. I'm going to take one of your fabulous brushes, and oh, well, hold on a little clean one. one. <laughs> clean one, thank you exactly, because I've, uh, I've used them all up. Here we go, and I'm going to take this using one of your fab brushes. Oh, you've got make you've got dark on that one. Oh, I just want to save you. Save me. Where? Wait, hold on. There'll be another one, There's here. another one here. There's yeah. another one here. There we go. Where are we? There we go, I'll yeah, use that one. Small one. Gorgeous, small one. There we go, lovely. Look, I've used We've them all up, done that. Haven't I know, we? haven't we done that? Like, literally not thinking. Yeah. Oh, or oh. you put it on your hand and then you're like, oh. Oh, God. I know. Um, 
Yes, thank you for saving me. That's all right. Uh, lovely, lovely YouTube live. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna put, so this Hollywood Beauty Light one, I think literally I'm obsessed with this product um, because it's light painting, dreamy it's kind really of hand light onto the skin, but it doesn't sit in the pores, doesn't sit into the lines, and it kind of remains moist, but it does, it mm. really, and you can go to the gym, but it never moves. It You've doesn't move. You've sold me on this. Honestly, I am literally obsessed I'm, with I'm it. I'm literally sold, sold on what, everything, and I liked it all before <laughs> she's, anyway. She's a good saleswoman, I'll tell you. But I haven't, I actually haven't used this, because I have, I have. this thing it's where like, when things become really, really popular, yeah. I just go, yeah, I'm not going to contour, I'm, I'm not going to highlight, I just I'm need to get away from it and do the yeah, opposite for a yeah, bit, yeah, you know? Yeah, for a bit. Rebel, so, rebel. Yeah, I know, right? I, but uh, that just felt so amazing it's going like, on. And no. I saw it go on Nick and it looked so gorgeous. Yeah, I've yeah. used it. Yeah, no, it's, I, I, I honestly, I think it's... I it's, use this and you get a lot. Oh, it's, you, know you, get I mean? you get a lot. That, you know, that will last money. you, darling. Yeah. I mean, I, I was think like, oh God, there's get it so now much. Before they make it smaller. There is so much in here. I mean, that, I have to say, should we just show them quickly what that does, even though I put the bronzy contour on? Oh, there might be one that's already... Yeah, I, I opened that one. Oh, well yeah, done. Yeah, marvellous, go. marvellous. Look, look, I've just got to, I've got to show everyone this, because the contour one is insane. It goes a long way. Insane. Okay, so even though we've done the film stuff on some glow, right, I'm just going to show you just a little bit of that on top. Look how easy this is, darlings. You can do that on the chin. This is what look, you want is, for your round this face. This is, look, look, this, yes, for your round face, but any... Look down it and the nose, what it does on the nose. Look at this, darling. Look, it's at a this. great tone as You've well. Got, it's such a good tone. And even if you want to look sort of um, a little bit kind of you know bronzy or kind of, it's great. You could use it as a sort of bronzer. And you put that on the end of, end of Sam's nose. Is that yes, short on it so it doesn't look too shiny on, on the tip? Or? I am no. It's. Do you know what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm doing it because I'm trying to find my contour. Oh, anyway, off the plot. Here we are, darling. She's got um, one down there. Oh, thank you. Here, there we go. Oh, there we go. Gorgeous. Um, oh, there's my magic complexion brush. I knew Woo! I was missing. Thank you. I was like, I just, I just, I, this, I did create this brush to go with this. And I'm a bit like, oh, where is it? I've lost it. Oh, but anyway, so this brush is amazing because it just gets turned to all those angles. Sorry, my darling. No, sorry. Um, and literally, hold on. And then I'm going to take a little, a little concealer because I went a bit... So I didn't have my Hollywood, I have to say, do, using this Hollywood complexion brush is just. Oh, can you shout, make a shout out for your legendary lashes? Because I know we've Oh, yes, that. legendary so lashes. We've only had seven minutes to go. Oh, oh wow, seven minutes. minutes. You haven't got the lips on yet. Quick, okay, get your quick, questions quick. in. We've only got seven minutes to right, go. Right, okay, so. I'm going to brush this. So I'm literally contouring this in quickly. Yep. Sorry, darling. That's right. right. Okay, so Nick, what's the ultimate wedding look for you? Um, a more polished of your na of your makeup that you wear daily. I don't think on your wedding day you should try and look completely different. No, golden goddess. I have to say, I've done so many. So Kate Moss's wedding. I've done a lot of weddings. Kate Moss's wedding, Amal Clooney's wedding, Claudia Schiffer's wedding, Bobby Delevingne's wedding. I don't know. So many. You know, and so much fun being a makeup artist, isn't it? On people's yeah. weddings day. Oh, we do have that intimate champagne as well. Kind of exactly. <laughs> it's amazing. Exactly. You get a whole like, that whole intimate experience. So people aren't trying to kill each other before they yeah. get married because yeah. that can also happen. Um, and it's a really golden, short day. Yeah, the Golden Goddess is a great one. Yeah. Um, for a kind of for a, a sort of you know. It's sort your of your simple. palette. What's the palette with? The, we've got everything that you need in. Oh, the instant palette. Oh, the instant palette. Oh my God, I, I love my instant palette. You I have was slightly two, obsessed with that, I darling. Use them both. Someone grab my instant palette. They yeah. must be here. Um, I know. I Aren't they, they good? I've are got. I've got brilliant for a I, wedding. They are. So, you're so right. So because you have two them. different tones of it as well, don't you? You have yeah. one that, and I think I wear that a lot. It's my go-to. You know, if I'm if I'm. Quick, easy. Yeah. Just want a kind of gorgeous. It's got, it's got everything in and, one. And really pretty colours that kind of. It even has the pop and. And yeah. swish, and I, I really like that. Right. No, well, Here we go, okay. lips. Right, and I'm going to use also, I'm going to use my Uptown Girl palette. Ooh. This was very much inspired by working with um, Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm going to put a little bit of that on top for a little bit of extra sparkle. Yes, you can just use your there. finger really easy. Um, the, I prefer to use my finger with this, uh, with this particular formula because it's, it's all the oils in your finger kind of help pick up the emollient, um, sparkly 
powder, but this again, even if you have, and you've got very young eyelids, but even if you have sort of slightly heavier, crepier eyelids, then this is, so many people say, oh, I can't wear that because it's sparkling. I'm like, no, 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 no. It'll actually smooth that, will deflect the light and smooth them out because it's got a lot of oils inside it. This is the best wedding palette. Is, yes, they, they are. are fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? They are so brilliant. Oh, yeah, and and if you haven't been on for long, um, you'll learn that Charlotte actually uses her fingers with the glittery palettes, yes. which I didn't know from her palette. She uses like, them because they're really, really finely milled, yeah. jet milled the glitter in, so it picks up a lot better with the oils, and it's got oils in it. So when it works into the eye, it really gives that lovely glittery shine to it. Well, so that's a really great little tip that I wouldn't have known, and you probably wouldn't know if you've only just joined. The Brushes tend yellow. not to pick. I don't know if you've ever found that at home. Brushes sometimes tend not to pick up shimmer like that, so it's easier to do it with you. Is this the same one as you used This is what I used on you, and this is the one that they said that, you know, all the, all the sort of, uh, exactly, this is Moon Beach, and it's a beach stick, and this is the one that they said that, that they always make me laugh in Hollywood. They said they all the supermodels would it is very nice. It oh, is I've never very worn nice. This one before. Neither have I. I'm excited. <laughs> Neither have I. I'm excited oh, by you this. You girls are so pretty. Charlotte, love bite is in your bum. Oh, yes, love exactly. I've been told love lashes. bite, darling, is on exactly. Lashes. Legendary lashes, lashes is in lashes. the kind of, it's exactly. Film Star Bond. So in the bundle, darling, in the red lip bundle that you're getting a massive discount on. You've got the Film Stuff Once and Glow. We need that in our lives every day. You've got the um, Love Bite lipstick, which is so gorgeous. I'm about to put that on. Sam, and then legendary lashes, and what else have I missed out? Diamonds. And champagne diamonds. Okay, darling, champagne so diamonds. You can have well, thank you. Which is this. Uh, exactly. So you literally just whack this on and smudge it in. Anyone can do this. Will save your life. You've got literally sort of three, 30 seconds for makeup. You pop that on. If you're not chatting away like me, um, close your mouth. So everyone says loves the makeup. Makeup on fleek, guys. I love Sam's oh. dress. Where did you get it from? Maybe not now. We're having lip plugging there. It, but go for it. Do you know where Sam's well, dressed from? Vivetta, is it? Vivetta. Vivetta. Vivetta, well, she got very professional. Yeah. Vivetta. Vivetta. <laughs> Maybe that's your next, your next career. Ventriloquist. Yeah, <laughs> that's her next career. Nick, what's your, um, Kat Houston's okay. asking, what's your kind of the last thing you do makeup-wise before you leave the house? And you're on Powder. Makeup? Powder. I only Same. powder last. I like the makeup to set into the skin, to do its own thing, and then once you've powdered, it's sealed. So I'd save that until the very, very last minute. Do you ever do Tanya's makeup? And I have done it a lot, and I did it for a, for a um, cover not that long ago, but not too much. Do you know what I mean? She has a favourite makeup artist that she uses, um, and that's because Sam and I are very, very busy. She does yeah. ask us. She does ask us. She is. Um, she looks gorgeous. Do you ever use any makeup on your body? Like Charlotte has a product called Supermodel Body. Do you use anything to contour your body? Uh, if I've got time, I normally concentrate on the face, but I have used your Supermodel super Body, body thing, the it shimmer. Really does I used work. it down the middle of my legs and I really liked it. It's I use a good moisturiser and then I just ran that down the middle. It was really nice. It's, yeah, it's really, it's really, really good. It's I on mean, a roller, isn't it? It's on a roller yeah. and I did it because I kind of wanted to create something for the... Um, the light here sort of throwing me off a bit. Um, you know, for the supermodels going down the Victoria's Secret runway. Smile for me, darling. It is really and nice. Yeah, and then I just want, and something, and I wanted something for exactly precisely that point when your husband's going, get in the car. Yeah. And you've got Take no time, and you've got a beautiful, sun, shimmery face, and you want that kind of celebrity limb, I call it. Then you could. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Celebrity yeah, limb. Celebrity limb. You know how they're always like perfectly polished, beautiful yeah. kind of limbs? Yeah. Exactly. Why can I not find a lip brush somewhere? There we go, marvellous. Great lip brush, great, brilliant. Um, Is there any more questions before we so, end while um, they're concentrating? Nick, I have very brown eyes. Come through to yep. What eyeshadows could I do to make them look greener? And the same for blue eyes. She's asking, how do you make your colours to make look stronger? Brown, to, to make brown eyes look greener, you want to go for something that's a warm brown. So something that... Ready brown, I yeah, always call that, them, yeah. That is, has got that real warmth to it. That's going to bring out the green. Um, with brown eyes, you're very lucky. You can wear any colour. Any colour looks good. Olive and white. I agree. Well, you, I, you, with brown eyes, you can really go. You, can you go, go all greens, out. blues look amazing. So lucky. But if you want to bring out the green that's in your brown eyes, um, when I was younger, I had hazel eyes, but they've just got greener and greener Are you as I've got older. Yeah, yeah, they just got greener as I've got older. Do you know green eyes are the only eyes that show emotion? <gasps> so they go greener when that. you're sad. They go, it's very interesting. There you go. They go, well, I've they got go greener when you're sad. What are yours? Mine blue. are green, blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you're, Clean you're blue, grey. Uh, they used to be blue, but they've gone they're more grey now, haven't they? I think they changed. No, they're not. Like... They're amazing. They're like ice. I see what you mean. They're like this sort of. They're green. Yeah. They're, they're really a, curious. They're amazing they? colour, like a husky. Mm. And yeah, what do you think of the highlight on the nose, end of the nose trend, Alicia Cook is asking? The highlight on the It's a trend, but it, it, it's a trend. <laughs> um, <laughs> but not all trends should be here. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. We've had the end of the nose, we normally want to lift, yeah. not highlight. Not exactly. highlight. Highlight here, lift. And also, again. the end of the nose, you know, you highlight things you want to stand out. Now, exactly. Only if your, if your nose is literally a button that isn't even really. It's like a little nubbin, then highlight it because you want to lift that forwards. Yeah. But if you, you're you, so you, right. You actually. definitely don't want to highlight the tip of your nose. Um, you know, and, I, and I, most I don't people don't have tiny noses. Yeah, I, I just don't think it's a thing. But well, thing we all is, learn. It came about because of RuPaul's Drag Race because it's guys trying to narrow their noses. So if you have a guy's nose, or you feel like you do, then it might work. But actually, it's very, very visible in daylight. So yeah. No. Charlotte, can you tell everyone what colour that's Love Bites that you're using? Yes, I'm using Love Bite, which is the most fantastic red. It looks amazing. And that it's is in like, the bundle. Yes, it is in the bundle. It's fabulous. What are the bundle names? So is the it the Ultimate Smoky Smart. Eye Look and the Ultimate, ultimate Red Lip Smoky Look. Ultimate Smoky Eye Look, Ultimate Red Lip Look. Claire, that's now, I have to say, when you did Ooh. my lips, yes. I've never had lips like it. I loved oh, it. Darling, I loved I love it. You, you got them so much fuller, and I can't even do it. And I kept thinking, I knew you went over my lip line a little bit, but I, it was seamless. And <laughs> I can't do it. I've been trying I'm for sure ages. You are and the I can best. see it on Sam's as well, like that you've gone over, but they look. It's it doesn't like, look like it. Oh, good, it's good. It's magician. It's nuts. I haven't gone RuPaul's Drag Race. No, yet. no, it looks great. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's fantastic. We've only got a few minutes. Oh, a few minutes. That is a lovely red. Oh, isn't it a lovely red? Is that kind of fabulous? It's sort of like, it's like a blue orange. It's Do you know what I mean? Really it should be orange, but it's yeah. got a bit of blue in it's it. It's really beautiful. It's a great party red. And I have to say, with your eyes, what I love about the red is it's just made your, if you've got blue or green eyes, or even those, it's just, especially blue or green, it just makes them pop red lips, doesn't it? It's very beautiful. Yeah. And how are you make, how are you re-cheating those lips with that lip liner? So I like am Johnson using, eyes. it's my kiss and tell this one, isn't it? My kiss and tell kind of lip liner. And it's just fantastic. And I'm just using that to resize and cheat the lips. How do you lips. cheat it? How, what, where do you, like so for when me, you look at it, where do you so envision that done. you're making them fuller? Well, because a lot of the people have like, a, I always call it a double line. So basically you can go, and a lot of pigment in people's lips don't go right to the edge. Yeah. So smile, and then when you, when you're when they're taut, you can sort of see where you need to go, and and then kind of and I always like to go slightly on the edge yeah. over the edge on the yeah plus Pl corner exactly. of it. Yeah, that's sorry, really darling. good. I do do that, but it no, never looks as good as yours. Yeah. And then you have to see, and also what I also think is a bit of magic cream and a, and a pointed cotton bud is your best clean friend. Up, yeah. Just clean it up. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes we go a bit over and oh, maybe we went a bit too far, you know. Charlotte, we're running out of time, so if we could get the final look so people are asking if they could have a look at it. Um, and then also final question, Charlotte, what's your favourite gift from your gifting collection? Mm. Favourite gift from my gifting collection? God, that's like asking me to choose a child. Um, darling, I needed all I'm very greedy. <laughs> um, big stockings. Um, exactly. Um, God, I, I think, I mean, I love my naughty and nice box, obviously. Um, but uh, yes, and, and, I, and I, you know, my lip masterclass, um, I mean, my fabulous mini brush sets, fabulous for a little naughty clutch when you're going out in the evening. Um, those brushes are heaven. Obviously, my instant eye palette, I've got it on today. Um, I need it all, darling. Hollywood lips, Hollywood contour. I mean, God, you know, we need it all. We can't just choose one product. Can go to get it, um, you can go to charlottetilby.com. It's like the best, best. It is so fantastic. Obviously, a, a, an amazing gift shop, and there's great things, and there's great stocking thrillers, and um, beautiful kind of treats and treasures and trinkets. And love it. Oh, I have to say this: I do adore. Where is it? Those I've done my. Um, where's my little box of? Oh, there it is. These Ooh. lipstick charms. Look at these. Are they the ones that got lipsticks in? Oh my god, these are little ones. These oh, are little, so the mini they ones. They are so cute. Little hot lips, and then you've got. Who doesn't three... want them in your little bag? Because bags are getting smaller and smaller. You need a small. You lipstick. can stick that on the tree. Aren't they so fun? Super cute. Super cute. And then Kim Kardashian uh, loves these, and we've got Sama Hayek's color there. That color that I did for her. Stealing a little bit of Sam Hayek's DNA and putting it into a pot. Um, Ooh, then I've got nice. Karina's Love. You'd oh, love that. Yes, I have yes that. you have that. that. So it's one of your, exactly. So you can pop that into your clutch. 
And then finally, we did Ooh, Kim Kardashian's mm -hmm. colour, Kim KW. Kim K. Exactly. So um, we put those, and they're just fab. And she loves them, obviously, Kim Kardashian. She kind of, because you can put them just in your jean pocket, in your clutch. They're just tiny. So cool. Um, and they're just great as a little stocking thriller. That's so I have so to say, cool. slightly partial to these. And I love giving these. I'm a bit naughty. I love giving them to children as well. well my children <laughs> love it. Love it. Love they've it. got the little they've hands. Little they can exactly. be really dexterous yeah, with exactly. it. Exactly. Oh, God, darling, you look so gorgeous. Right. Is it time for the grand reveal? Is it time for the grand reveal? Finished for both of this ultimate smoky oh, eye and the darling. ultimate lip. So How does it, can I just you ask you one so question? Pretty, you too. How does it feel to have... Charlotte Tilbury is such a massive brand now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, it's, it's, it's been honestly, quick. I mean, every day is like a dream for me. Every yeah. day it's You've worked really like, hard for it. worked but... really hard. I can tell you, I've got a lot of strides and I've worked really yeah. hard. Um, and, um, uh, but it's, it's amazing. And I think you have to love it and you have to be so passionate about it because it is really, you know, amazing but intensely hard work at some point. And I think you only can excel at something because you're so passionate about it and so in love with it that no matter how tired or how long or whatever you've got this kind of you can just keep going because you're just it, you're just high on it mm. high on life and high on these products and, and I love making women feel like the most beautiful versions of themselves I love empowering women I love saying do you know what by the way that you look you're, you're going to earn more money at a job or you're going to get the man you want or you're going to wake up and look in the mirror and feel more confident and walk out and change your day because it changes your makeup, your yeah. mindset. You know, I always think about a mind. People don't realise how important it yeah. is. But it is. It's not exactly. It's, not, it's you know, you think about your makeup, your face, but actually you're making up your, you know, making it over your mindset. And so, if you can do that, and then, and I always think if you start with yourself and you empower yourself and you kind of go, you know, we all have days where we can wake up feeling a bit like that. And then I always say you put on my makeup and then you just kind of like, oh, there she is. And so I sit with so many celebrities I work with. They might come in a bit exhausted, whatever. And then they kind of, you know, you do their makeup and they go, oh, there she is. And you see them visibly, their whole body language go from this to this and feel really, and their eyes sparkle and open up and the whole aura, energy, everything changes. Mm. And that's really why I created this brand. I created that to give that to every woman in the world because makeup is confidence, it's empowerment, it's happiness. And if you can change, if you can give that to people, you know that, you yeah. guys do it all the time. That's what you do, that's why you have millions of people following you, in love with you, because that's what you are giving to the world. It's the same thing, as, and that's why I wanted to create these products, so I could give them to, because uh, there's only one of me, there's only two of you, yeah. and it's great, thank God, for amazing, you know, YouTube and social media and, you know, Facebook Live and all these kind of amazing things that we can communicate with everybody, but... Um, you kind of, you know, you it, 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 it was just, you know, to create a brand. That I could think do the well. job of a makeup artist is never about you. It's always about the other people. It is. Yeah, it is. And that, that's part it, of it. It is, and that, and that, 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 that. Um, we need to show. Grand our reveal. reveal. Okay, there we go. So, um, right, and so here we are. Um, we have finished our two looks. You can get these two bundles on CT. Uh, charlottecity.com, charlottetilby.com, charlottetilby.com and um, we've got the kind of the smoky eye look on the fabulous Nick and we've got, um, and on Sam, we've got the kind of the red lip bundle and it's, you've got your film star bronze and glow in there which is fabulous, which everyone needs film star bronze and glow, it's a product I use, sorry I haven't even, um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't right. it's like, oh, I love look it. at that highlighter. Mm. Like, oh, but like killer cheeks. Like, I love that highlighter. Oh my god, on that you. highlighter is, is amazing. Insane. No, I'm love. start using that. I like that lipstick like, as well so. a lot. I love that on you too. Really it's really nice. good. It can, it's kind of like a color, a bit more color. It's a bit like. It's lovely it's on you, really, actually. It's a bit like I've been got drinking red, red wine. Exactly. Like, but, I don't have have but I don't have the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a win win all round. I love it. You've got the Catherine Zeta Jones look. You've got the look that I've done on so many red carpet Aww. celebrities that's kind of, you know, amazing. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, this has been so great. It's been you. so much fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go to charlottetubby.com. Get all your Christmas presents. These two bundles, you're getting a massive discount today uh, as it's Black Friday week. Have a fantastic, fantastic holiday season and party season with all of these looks. And it's been so much fun sharing all of this with you and having so much fun with you girls. Thanks, Thanks Charlotte. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.